Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, today I bring to you another new Transformer review. Yay. Today I'll be looking at the uh, Iron Factory Racing Bros uh, Retrograde. This is Runabout and Run Amuck. This is Runabout, Run Amuck. Awesome. Awesome, all that wonderful stuff. But before that, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me. If you like the channel, I really appreciate that. Hit that little bell, it notifies new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy, so let me squeeze it. And as always, shirt, shirt, shirts for sale. Uh-huh, they're in the description. I got three new ones. Do me a big favor, check them out. If you like one, buy one. All right, we all need new shirts. Do me a favor, go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man, awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy sight, man, it's easy to navigate, really nice, awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got Legends, he's got Third Party, he's got Hasbro, he's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformer galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping, wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you, he might even give you a virtual hug. All right. Mm. Mm -mm. Man, it smells like it's about damn time somebody gave us a runabout and run amok. Golly. All right, I'm going to check, get these fellas out, check them out, transform them, get to know them a little better, all that wonderful stuff. I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. All right, here is the Iron Factory's Racing Bros uh, Retrograde. This is Run Amuck and Run About. They're uh, recolors and retools, kind of retools of the Sideswipe and Sunstreaker uh, Racing Bros thing. So, all right, let's take a look at their weapons real quick. Here is Run Amuck's. Basically just kind of a charcoal gray paint or uh, plastic, no paint on there at all. Then you get uh, runabouts, and it's cherry red. Mm -mm. You know how I feel about some cherry red stuff. Really nicely painted. I like that. Same sculpt and everything, just this one's got paint and this one doesn't. All right, let's take a look at these real quick. Run amuck. Real quick, they don't have any third party names. They're just Racing Bros uh, Retrograde, whatever. So very nice. Nice uh, light blue for the headlights. You got some silver right there for the grill. Nice uh, silver on the rims. Nice uh, black tinted windows. The issue, I mean, so many people may find out that, you know, there's a big old gap right here. Not a gap, but, you know, it's just a little overlapping of stuff like that. So but it's not too terrible. In the back, you got some silver also. It's got a face in there. Urgh. So, underneath looks pretty good. It rolls just fine. And then here's Runabout. Love it. Charcoal gray. Kind of that. Well, well it may be black. Kind of a lighter black. Nice uh, tray red right there for the headlights. Gray right there or silver for the uh, grill right there. Wonderful cherry red for the uh, windows. Love that. Nice cherry red for the rims also. Paint on there. And then the back, grr, some more cherry red underneath. And it rolls just fine. There they are together. Beautiful pair. It's about time somebody made these. So yeah, that is the alt mode for Runabout and Run Amuck from Iron Factory. All right, real quick, there is Side Swipe from Iron Factory. Same mold and everything. He does have paint up there. They don't. That's fine. So well, yeah, that is the... Same mold from there. So side swipe and iron, uh, runabout and runamuck. Here's a time returns wheelie from Magic Square. And then we got a new H. So yeah, there's scale. And Crapagonics, a triple A battery, and a Sharks 2 from Florida. Scale. All right, back from transformation, and here they are runamuck and runabout from the Iron Factory. And uh, easy transformation, basically you combine awards, the legs, you just move the arms up and you bring this back over here and everything. Really simple, you turn around that everything. As you can see, they can hold their weapons just fine for both of them. In both hands, all that stuff. We'll take a look at run amuck real quick, and then I'll take a look at run about, then I'll do uh, articulation just on one of them because they're both the same thing. It's very nicely done. Love that silver for the uh, faceplate and the red eyes. Very nice. And then you got the black Paint right here, very nice, move on down. Orange plastic kind of breaks up the white. There's a lot of white on this guy. 
And you got the black and everything. You've seen all that in a uh, car mode. And then that right there. Cleans up really good in the back. Little holes right there, but not too terrible. And then here is Runabout. I love that gun. It's cherry red. There he is. Nice silver paint and red eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Moving on down, you got the red for that. Little silver right there for the abdomen. Moving on down. Got the red. You see all that in car mode? I love that cherry red. It's beautiful. That right. cleans up really good on the back. And there's the back real quick. Yeah, we'll do articulation real quick on him. So, like I said, head sculpt, look down, not much, a little bit, not much up, side to side. Only thing I really, and he can, he can give you attitude also. Don't like it, so when you're turning the head around, that little pulse right here, it gets in the way. So basically, if you turn his head down, he just looks down a little bit. So, yeah, not too bad, not terrible, but we're going down right there. So you can only go up to there. You can go all the way around. You do have a, eh, I say a little butterfly, not much, just because of a ball joint. And you can move these up and down like that. It does have a bicep swivel. Uh, more than 90 degrees for the uh, elbow bend. And a twist of the hands. And they're just, don't come with other hands, just one hand. Nice uh, waist, uh, waist rotation. No ab crunch. I think they could have gave them an ab crunch with this one. They could have easily put an ab crunch in there, but they didn't. Well, you can do the Van Damme. Kick up, kick back, thigh swivel, a little one right here because of the ball joint, and you got a cut in there also. So you can get more than nine. So with the knees, you can extend them out a lot. Of, you know, right there, you get a big old gap and everything. But if you want to get some dynamic poses, you can do that, and it gives you enough of a knee band that you more than need. Move on down, uh, toe tilt up a little bit, toe tilt down, and that gives you the rocker. That's it. And you got the kickstand back here, the heel spur. So yeah, that is it. And then, like I said, it cleans up really well. Yep. Limited in articulation. Stuff gets in the way. The shoulders and everything. It's really blocky. You know, they're kind of stylized, just like Iron Factory does. But And the head and everything. But not too terrible. So yeah, there's the articulation and the sculpt of Runabout and Run Amuck. Real quickly, there's his Mold Buddy, their Sun Streaker from the Racing Brothers. All right, there's a mixture of uh, DX9, High Soldiers, New Age, Magic Square, and Unique Toys Headmasters, just for scale. And there's Iron Factory for some scale. Carpagonics, a AAA battery, a shark's tooth from Florida, and Squeaks, scale doll. All right, let's talk about the Iron Factory's EX-26R. This is the Racing Bros uh, Retrograde. This is Run Amuck and Run About. I like them, they're really good. I think it's a great and smart, smart uh, move and smart uh, to use them as a, you know, the Sunstreaker and the uh, Sideswipe mold. I think that's genius, I think, you know, pretty cool. And they threw it in as a two pack. That's awesome, I'm glad they didn't separate them and everything. So really nice, I like them. All molds look, you know, kind of like if you squint your eyes and twist your, you know, tilt your head a little bit, you might could see them as the G1, but you know, these are stylized just like Iron Factory is. So that's what you know, I expect from them. So I really like the alt molds, they're really good. The uh, run up. Uh, run about. I love that cherry red all over the windows and everything. That is just so spectacular. But yeah, I really like the alt modes. They're really fun, nice little cars. Like I said, transformation is real easy. Basically, you combine towards the legs and you just flip over the back, you know, to cover his head and everything. You just move up the arms. Really easy peasy uh, transformation, so it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Sculpt and paint is really good. I like sculpt. You know, they're like I said, they are stylized. They're a little blocky, but I like them. Looks good. The head sculpts look really nice. I love that they have uh, painted red eyes and silver faces. Not a ton of paint, but you know, run amuck. It's got some black, you know, and a little bit of you know, break up with the orange plastic and everything. Doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, of paint, but you know, it's got some nice ones where it's at. And I love runabouts. They that cherry red once again just spectacular i love it and it's really nice and the gun is painted too for him so that's really nice so very nice on the paint and the sculpt 
Articulation, eh, it's kind of lacking. You know, he's got those big, you know, 80s woman shoulders, you know, past, so he really can't lift up really uh, far on that. And the head movement, you know, once you start turning the head, it starts looking down because there's a post in the back that just, you know, gets in the way. But it's got some decent articulation. You can get him some good uh, poses and everything. The legs, you can, you know, extend them and everything and get him some dynamic poses. So articulation is just, it's not the greatest, but it's not terrible either. So it's fine. Overall, I'm happy that we're finally getting these two. I think it's neat that they, they and they use the mold for the Sunstreaker and the side swap. I think that's really cool. So overall, I really like these. I think they're worth the price and we're finally getting some. And like I said, Chuck's giving us one. Now MP, someone out there, you know, a third party or something like that, you need to give us a runabout and run a mic. That'd be awesome. But I really like these and I'm glad to add them to my Iron Factory collection. All right, I'm gonna get on the floor. I'll do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right, so. Like I said, I'm really happy that we got uh, these two. Man, Legends is giving us everything, man. And Iron Factory, Iron Factory, man, you put out a stellar product, man. Really great plastic. I wonder who you were before Iron Factory. I wonder if you used another third party company and just branched off or something. You got some good stuff going on, Iron Factory. Let me ask you this. So, like I said, I love the cherry red. I gush over it all the time whenever you see it on a transformer. Is there like a particular color that y'all really like on a transformer? Like I love purple and black. I think that's a great mixture and everything, but I love a cherry red, man. It looks just, it pops, man. This really is so nice. So yeah, hit me up in the comments. Tell me what, is there's a color palette that you like on a transformer? Do, 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 do. Oh, look, I ain't never seen these fellas. I ain't never seen them run about and run them up. How y'all doing? We're doing good. We're twins. Yeah, I know. Y'all look like twins. It's black. It's white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was stupid. I'm sorry. Who don't like that? Like some MJ. Come on now. All right, chicken. What's up? Y'all want to ride? Y'all want to do a, a double ride? Well, heck yeah. Let's do this. Let's see if this is possible. <laughs> All right. Get on there. And you get on there. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Riding tag team. Gross. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> Good job, chicken. Man, I need to tighten you up, man. You're loose as a goose. All right, well, that was my re review of the Iron Factory Racing Brothers uh, Retrograde. This is their run about and run amuck. Once again, I like them. They're awesome. I I'm glad to add them to my collection. All right, go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. We appreciate that. Uh, hit me with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And if you like these fellas, are you going to plan to get those or get them? And I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Iron Factory review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro and good night, folks. Let's get these two up there. They're twins. Twins, yeah!